guys okay so i'm here to talk about this anime that i just watched it's called a place further than the universe and i love like slice of life animes i like you know um life lesson animes or whatever if you don't want spoilers because spoiler alert this is a spoiler yeah so you might not want to watch this video if you're planning on watching this anime or you're just like okay who cares i'm gonna still watch it and just you know watch her talk about you know the whole anime go ahead i guess but um yeah in this anime and i have some notes down too so i can you know jot my little notes or whatever because it was a lot of information in the names i'm like uh let me write these names down because you know japanese names are like yeah sometimes you need to practice like me but okay but basically it starts off and um i don't even know what city it's in but it's the main character her name is mari tamaki or Mari T Tamaki, yeah, I think Mari Tamaki. Pronounce me if I'm wrong or whatever. I'm trying to do my best, but Mari Tamaki, right? She's a second year in high school. And okay, so basically she wants to make the most out of her youth. So every time when she tries to do something, she backs out of it. She gets so scared. And I forgot her best friend's name. Yuku or something? Yuku. I think Yuku. I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna say Yuku but she has a best friend and I'll tell you more about that but so we're just gonna put her right here and the main character Mari Tamaki so yeah she's a second year in high school and she goes to Tatara High School West High something like that so like I told you she backs out of everything that she wants to do like she's so scared to get out of her comfort zone and then so she relies on yuku every time when she's like okay no like i'm gonna do this and then no i'm not gonna do it because i'm scared now like she doesn't know how to make up her mind so uh mainly she just backs out every time when she tries to do something big she's like no i get too scared let me stay in my comfort zone let me stay right here because i'm not comfortable with doing whatever i'm gonna do so she meets shirase yeah so she um, plans to go on she plans to go to Antarctica and everybody in class calls her Antarctica because like they're like you're not gonna make it to Antarctica because like say for instance regular high school students you don't expect them to save up money to go to Antarctica while they're in school you know you just don't expect that you're like okay you're gonna go all the way to Antarctica well what money well what like when like when are you trying to do this why are you trying to do this like okay whatever she's just bluffing you're not going by so they're just like oh yeah you're talking about antarctica or whatever making fun poking fun of her or whatever she's like i'm gonna go i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna go so really she goes and um she takes kamari with her or mari whatever mari Ta tamaki <laughs> mari tamaki with her so this is how it starts so mari tamaki um she gets some money i don't want this to be a long video though how many okay it's already at 407 i just want this to be a short synopsis of it okay so let me just skip all of that they go mari meets shirase in the bathroom because mari found a million dollars because shirase shirase yeah she um saved up she you know she got a job while she was in high school to go to antarctica like this girl is not playing around she's trying to go to antarctica she's trying to get cold <laughs> so she's like okay i'm gonna go to antarctica 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 i'm gonna go to so she saved up one million to go she dropped it so she was girl if i drop one million too i would be bawling out like i would be crying out oh my god i would freak out i would, I would just like stab people like i know like i would be going crazy like i dropped one million dollars what the f do you know how much one million like it's still not the standard to survive in this society but that's that will help me and i drop it mm -mm. no i'm cutting everybody's heads off i'm cutting your neck off like bye mari finds it and she's like oh my god this girl like she has long hair she has long uh black hair she has bangs she smells good she dropped this money i don't see her but she there go to the same school they go to T tatara west high so they go to the same school so she tells yuku mari tells yuku her best friend she's like hey okay i found this money 
I don't know who it belongs to, but I think I seen her walking across these halls. Yuki was like, okay, let's find her. So they find her in the bathroom. She's bawling. Well, not dumb, but Mari finds her in the bathroom. She's bawling out. She's like, one million yen? She's like banging against the stall. Like, like oh my God, I just dropped one million yen. Like, oh my God, kill me. Like she's going off so she gets up the bathroom you know like how you like freak out away from people like oh my God. like let me just have a second to myself let me get out this room let me freak out real quick and then when I'm back in the room like they don't know nothing happened like you're still that boss has like oh I just cried my eyes out and you know I just got my heart broken but whatever I'm still a boss has you'll never know so that's what she did so she walked out the bathroom and she's just like wiping her tears and then Mari sees her and then she's like what um, Shirase is like, what? Like, what are you looking at? Nani? <gasps> and then Mari's like, okay, hold up, girls, trying to, like, you know, give you your money back. Calm down. Like, I might just keep this one million yen and get rich but she still gave it back to her so she was like um one million yen you dropped this and she's like thank you thank you like she uh shirase grabbed her and she's like thank you so much thank you thank you thank you and she's like oh uh, yeah you're welcome like you just started to be mean to me and then now you're like straggling me for this one million that i gave you you're welcome i guess you know because she like was on defense shirase when she got out that stall so mario was like okay i'm confused like you want to be my friend or not make up your mind so after that scene shirase was just roaming around school and um mari was like where are you going you know um you know why do you have one million yen and then that's when the whole conversation started she was like i'm going to antarctica shirase was like people are making fun of me but i'm going like i'm going to antarctica and i want to go because her mom was on a antarctic expedition with these crew members and she was like on one of the crew members uh and she went three years ago and she never returned so Shirase, you know, had it at the back of her head, like, okay, I think, you know, my mom's gone. Like, she never returned, so she must be dead, but she just didn't want to say it out loud throughout the anime. But she's like, she knows, like, you know, she's gone. Like, she, she's out. <laughs> she left three years ago. But Shirase was like, okay, yeah, I'm going on this um, Antarctic, Antarctic trip. And... Mari was like, I want to come with you. Like, this is one thing that I can finally do that's out of my comfort zone. I'm going to a whole another freaking country a whole another place like that's why it's called a place further than the universe because in arts because like out there like it's just just ice and cold and everything so she's like you know what this is a huge step but like i'm going with you like mari was like i'm going like she wasn't so confident at first but she was like at the back of her head i'm going like i'm going with her so they started to buddy up and then they met hinata miyake I think I got that right. That sounds right. I think I got it. So Hinata Miyake. Um, okay, so she, I like her. Like, I think she's probably one of my favorite in the anime. I like her personality. Like, she's very bright and friendly, and she's very optimistic about every situation. She tries to make the best out of things. She's like, she picks you up when you're down and you're sad. When you're, if you're one of those party pooper people, you do not want to be around her because, like, she will try to pick you up, and she's like, hey, you know what? It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. We're not dead. So if we're not dead, everything's great, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> she's like that and she out the anime she gives her like quotes or whatever she's like yeah i thought this at the top of my head or da -da -da. and they're just like oh hinata oh you little jokester you you little corny you yeah hinata is just like um yeah she's very bright and bubbly and all that um so she works at a convenience store because she dropped out of high school um, but she started taking homeschooling so she can, you know, still be caught up with schooling. And she's going to take her entrance exams for college um, two years from now, I think, from the anime. I think she said two years she had until she took them. But yeah, so 
she was like, okay, you know what, let me go with y'all because it's just something new to do. Like, you know, if you hear your friends, like, just like, oh, okay, let's go to Miami. They're like, okay, cool. Like, let me just go because it's something fun. It's a new experience. Even though, like, a lot of people has been to Miami already. It's like, um, Antarctica. Like, if you're going to Antarctica and somebody's like, oh, come. You're gonna be like, okay, f yeah. And, like, if you have the money, though. That's the thing. People don't have the money. So they're like, ah, I'll pass. I'm broke. But, you know, if you have the money... Of course, why not go to Antarctica for some people don't want to though. They're like, it's just cold there. Like, what? What's the point? And I get you, but I'll be that person. Like, you know, you just look at nothing, <laughs> really. Like, you just enjoy the nothingness, like the the bare minimum there. You know, it's like a feeling that like different than society or you know where you normally reside. So, but anyways, they meet Hinata, and then another person. She was acting since she was four years old, and she's the calmest out of all of them. Her name is Yuzuki. So Yuzuki is an actress, and she's very popular. Um, she does commercials. She's in entertainment. And really, she was the golden ticket for all of all three of them to go on the trip because Hinata's manager or whatever was like, yeah, we need somebody from high school to document what goes on on this expedition so you can be the one because you're already in entertainment. But she's like, no, I don't want to go to Antarctica. Like, no, I'm fine. I'll pass. But then Shirase was like, no, please, uh, can we go? Can you do it so we can all go with you? And she's just like, Sigh. at first she was like, oh, no, I'm not with it because they weren't friends at first. But then she saw the bond that um, Mari, Shirase, and Hinata had, and she's like, yo, I want that too, like, because she never had friends, you know, when you grow up in the entertainment industry, um, and you're a child actor, you're so busy, and you just never have a social life, like, she didn't have any friends growing up, so she really was like, okay, y'all don't phase me, but, like, she was jealous of it, because she's like, I never had friends, and look at their friendship, and, like, they really want to go to this place, and so she started to rethink, she's like, you know what, okay, well, if I can like build friendships and you know have friends from this experience then why not so she was really in it to create friends and you know have lifelong friends after the expedition when they went to Antarctica so she finally gave in and she was like okay Hi, And so they all started to go off to Antarctica. And it's so cool because I like the ex little experiences they have along the way, the things that they learn about each other, you know, about friendship and all that. And they really started to gr grow close. And then on one of the episodes, um, Yuzuki was like, um, are we friends? Like, because um, uh, Kamari, she was like, oh, yeah, you're my friend, so why not? And then Yuzuki was like, what made us friends? Like, you never said officially that we're friends. And then they all had a conversation. They were like, well, friendship is not based upon just verbal verification. Like, you get experiences from the people that you're around, and you just automatically know, like, y'all are friends. And they were just explaining that to Yuzuki. And they were like, um, you know, uh, from all the experiences that we had on this, you know, trip to go to Antarctica, we didn't have to verbally say, you're my friend. Like, you should already have that feeling because we already feel it ourselves like all three of them were like we feel that like you're a friend and then she she started crying because on one of the episodes they celebrated her birthday and she never had people like friends celebrate her birthday before she never had her birthday celebrated at all so she was like just it was a very surreal moment for her she was like oh my god like i really have friends like this is awesome like they really care about me and they set this up on this ship to like have this mini birthday party and make me a cake out of frozen ingredients from you know unheated food but like uh because they're on a ship so they have to conserve energy so it was crazy to have frozen dishes they were eating like a uh, out thought food it wasn't really heated all the way because it was crazy but it was cool how they did it so um basically on the way there they had to get fit so they were running tracks around the ship because you still have to you know you have to prepare like okay yeah we're going on this trip but you're expedition member like this is really serious you got to make sure you're fit so they had to run tra um they had to run laps around the ship on deck and it rotates um each day so when they say clockwise they ran clockwise around the ship deck and when they say counterclockwise on the intercom you run counterclockwise and it was really cool so they had to run and train they were out of shape all of them were out of shape except i think shirase or like yeah she was like jump roping in one episode but like everybody was out of shape really what? 
分かってませんよねキマリさんまあすぐ分かるでしょう<笑>そう。I forgot what it was called, but they had machines or everything to measure where your mark is and where you left off at. On the trip, like counting steps and everything to the next flag point, they had to do practice and everything because it was really serious. Like, if you get lost in a blizzard or something, like you're gone. Like, Shirase's mom, she was gone. Like, it was crazy. So, They had to do that and they had to actually prepare and they had to do ship work and everything. They were like, whoa, okay, this is vacation, but it's not really vacation because we're working our ass off. But it was still nice. So at the end, very much a spoiler. So I'm telling you, if you didn't watch it already, watch it before I say this. But um, at the end, they found、um, a laptop that Shirase's mom had. Because they were like, there must be something here. Like, if your mom went to this expedition three years ago, she had to leave something for you, or it has to be a trace of her here. Like, Shirase really came there for her mom. And then she was explaining to the others, she was like, okay, that I'm here. I would think, like, I would feel like, oh my gosh, my mom saw this very sight, but she didn't feel anything. Like, she was just numb. And she was like, I didn't expect this. I expected more excitement. Like, oh my God, I'm seeing a penguin that my mom came here for. Like, she was like really trying to determine why her mom came there and what was the purpose. Cause she wanted to feel that too. You know, like, I'm going to this place and my mom just vanished for. And I want to know why. Like, was it really meaningful that much to her to vanish from the, you know, to have her life in danger? So Shirase was like, you know, I'm just confused now because after this, what now? You know what I mean? Like, what do I do now? <laughs> what if it's not like how I wanted it to be? Like, when I go here, when I finally reach the ending point where my mom saw whatever she saw, what is next? Like, what's gonna happen? Is anything, is my life gonna change or am I still gonna feel numb for all these years? Like, I'm missing my mother and like nothing's changed. So she was really scared about that. And all the girls were like, okay, well, we have to find something like through the end. They were like, okay, it has to be something here that your mom left. <laughs> So they found this laptop. And that was an emotional part. Like, I felt like the tears inside my body, they didn't come out, but they were in there. Like, they were in there. Like, oh my God, okay, we're, we're about to come out, but we're not, but we're about to come out. I was like, no, just stay in. So my tears really stayed in, thank God, because I was like, eh, <laughs> but I didn't. So during that part, Um, she pulled out the laptop, Shirase, that they found. They were like, Look, Shirase, we found a laptop that your mom left. And she opened it, and it was just loading the emails, emails after emails, like tons of emails she sent every day to、um, Shirase, or, you know, just emails writing to herself, knowing that Shirase will open them and find it one day. So she was just writing emails after emails to herself. And、um, basically, for Shirase, though, her mother was writing emails to her, but sending it to herself because she knew Shirase would look at the emails one day. And Shirase just started like, tearing up. Like, she was just like, oh my God, like, my mom was really sending to me all this time, and she knew I was going to be here, and she knew what was going to happen. So it was like, that was a very sentimental moment. And they all started crying because like, they felt for her. They were like, yeah, you finally got something. You finally found something that your mom left. So they really felt for her.
母さん！beautiful ending but like the ending ending like how it like you know how it turns off in its credits it was okay like it was okay I'm not gonna spoil it but it was like all right you know it's not the best but it was like a nice ending like I w I'm not like mad at it but it could have been better but it's whatever but it was really good anime I loved it I loved how um the different conversations like the small minimal conversations that they had in the anime talking about life and everything this one scene when Kimari was like um Look at all these people just living like it doesn't matter where you are in the world people are just working every day they have friendships they're living their lives and people are doing different things in t different time zones but like we're still in constant motion like everybody's just living <laughs> And it's like, I'm like, I feel you. Like, I know exactly what you're talking Like, we're here, we're here. So it was really cool. I loved it. It was a nice anime. But um, yeah, that's the anime in a nutshell. And if you want to watch it, I suggest you watch it. I suggest people who watch it that are into like sentimental animes and just like going through life animes and just, you know, like that. Those animes that make you feel like, oh, like that was a good lesson, or like I liked how it the plot was, or whatever, like that. But anyways, yeah, that's about um a place further than the universe. And I love the title of it. That's what attracted me to it. The title is like that sounds like intriguing, like, okay, where is the place further than the universe or what is it about? You know, that that's a good name to catch people's attention to watch the anime. That's a good name. Cause you know, sometimes you're attracted to an anime by its name alone. So, um, yeah, it caught me. It caught me like a little fish. I was like, bloop, bloop, bloop. You got me. Eat me. Huh? Put me on a platter. It was really nice. It was a cool anime. I'm glad I watched it. And for the people who want to watch it, even though I kind of spoiled it for you, we can connect, though, if you already watched it. And, you know, you're just watching this like, yes, like, you watch the same thing as me. Or, like, we're connecting right now. I'm connecting with you. All you only. You know who I'm talking to, the person who watched it with me. Now, yeah, mm-hmm, we're here. We're connecting now. Just watch the anime if you like. I like doing reviews like this, so I'm gonna do more anime reviews um, after the animes that I watch, just to talk about them, because people will like to know, you know, more in depth about the anime, or, you know, just how it is, and all that, because I love anime, you know, so why not share it on my channel, too, so. Yep, yeah, Avocado Girl out. <laughs> See you guys, bye.